Hey there, Deirdre. Uh, Cisco shares are down nearly 8% since last earnings, where the company missed on revenue, and they just dramatically reduced guidance, citing the war in Ukraine and COVID lockdowns in China that impacted its supply chain, both as major headwinds. Cisco guidance putting revenue at about a billion dollars below what the street was expecting at the, for the quarter at that time. You can now see the street has adjusted and is now expecting a 3% decline in revenue and EPS for Q4. So the big question in this report will be forward guidance, because China is still in the process of reopening. And there are questions about if the backlog Cisco has will actually translate into higher revenues going forward. According to FactSet, 25 analysts covered the stock with a mean price target of 52.09 a share. That's just about a 12 percent move to the upside from where it's trading right now. Ten analysts have Cisco as overweight or a buy. The rest is hold. So generally some pretty positive sentiment. The major thing to watch in this report, along with the guidance, is commentary on supply chain and the ability to source components. With rising competitors, Juniper and Arista, there are a lot of questions growing about Cisco's ability to maintain its market share.